Hello guys, you're welcome back to the class and welcome back to the post class for this year uh, mathematics class. So guys, we have two questions to solve in this uh, particular video. So this is the part one. So the next video I will do the part two of today's class. So we will be looking at another two questions to solve for this upcoming post class. So guys, if it's the first time watching our video, uh, with my channel, you have to subscribe, like, also turn your button in case you are your like this. To be the first one on files and also most important thing please i want you to share this video uh this channel i mean introduce to your friends so they can learn uh positive me both mathematics and english okay but now we are in the uh, mathematics class so guys uh let's dive into the solution of these two questions okay this is for i picked this question why don't for two university uh union lag and also union ben okay one of it this one's for union lag this one's for union ben so uh this also when i checked through it i discovered that the majority of the question here was picked from uh jam pass question okay for jump pass question so let's look at the concern the question like this okay the question is that you evaluate two raised power of zero plus four raised power of minus one over two or brackets also raised power of two so they are capped together so how to solve this question this is a simply pure word in this is question right so let's go to the solution of it okay we have this solution so let's have we have a 2 that is 2 is power of 0 that is a plus that is 4 is power of minus 1 over 2 so let's open brackets and let's close brackets here so let me try to so in this place now the next thing you do here let's solve the bracket first before we apply the square roots so if we just solve this bracket first here you know, in this place, anything that raised power of 0 is got to what? Is got to 1. So let me solve this one first. Here we have 2 raised power of 0. We know that it's got to 1. So anything that raised power of 0 according to the law of indices is always got to 1. So let's have this. We have a 4 raised power of or minus 1 over 2. Okay. So this one is a negative inverse. Okay. This one is the same thing as expressing like this. If you remember negative in the inverse, when you have an expression that has a, we have a raised power of minus n, it's the same thing as well. This minus here is 1 over, okay, why this a raised power of this n? That's a raised power of n, okay? Okay, I'm getting it now. So the next thing now, if you compare what we have here together with what we have here, and this one gives this, so let's say this a is the base here, which is 4, and our n here is 1 over 2. So let's write this down. Let's compare it to what we have here. To be equal to that our a our is our that is one over. So our a is raised power of two. That is b of, of I mean I mean four here. We have our four as a that is four. Our n is equal to one over two. That is raised power of one over what over two. And if you still remember, according to the law of indices now, this one over two is the same thing as square root. Okay, and the same thing as square root. So let's apply it there now. So we have a one over. So this 1 over 2 is the same as square root. So it means that we take the square root of 4 of this 4. So therefore, it will be 1 over 2. Square root of 4, we have 2, right? That's like 2 times 2, we have 4. So square root of 4 is equal to 2. So now we have solved this. This part is equal to 1. And this part is given as 1 over 2. So let's put it into what we have here now. So let's write it here, okay? So what if I put it here now? We have our 2 is equal to 1. That is, our, that is 2 is equal to 0. That is 1. Okay, let me open back here because of the square we have here because of bracket here. And 4 is power 1 over 2, we have 1 over 2. That is give us 1 over 1 over 2. And everything is power of, what, of 2. So we are still have to solve the bracket. Here we have 1 over 2. So what we just have to do here, 1 plus 1 over 2 here. Yeah? So you know in this place, and let's find the SCM of this place. We have made this one as a fashion also over 1 and find the SCM of 1 or 2. So the SN of 1 and 2 is what? It's 2. So let's put it as 2. 1 divided by 2, that is 1. Time, 1 divided by 2, that is 2 rather. 2 times 1, that is what? We have 2 plus, okay? 2 divided by 1, that is uh, 1. 2 divided by 2 rather, that is 1. 1 times 2, that is what going us as 1. So let's, and that's what we have 1 here. So everything is still with power of what? Of 2. So let's add it together. 2 plus 1, that is 3 divided by, that is 2, okay? And everything is three raised power of what of two. So therefore now this uh three raised power of two and two raised power also of two. So this one can also be expressed as three raised power of two and divided by two raised power of what of two and equal to three raised power of two that is three times three that give us nine divided by two raised power of two that is two times two 
that give us what as four. So our answer to this question is equal to nine over four. So we can see the option for option C. So C is the answer to this question. Let's solve the question two. Okay. Question two says that you express one thirty kilometer per second in meter per seconds. Okay. So let's do the calculation. This is very simple, guys. You know, many of you can solve this question, but okay, for the sake of you that doesn't know how to solve this question, let's dive into it. So the thing you take note here: this kilo. Sorry, I use the pen. This kilo it represents as one thousand. So it means that or oh, you convert this one to meter now, it will be equal to that is one thirty multiplied by one thousand watts meter. Okay, so this per hour, this per seconds rather, to convert second to hour, so we know that we be hour sixty second make what what one minutes. Okay, for the first convert seconds to minutes and from minutes to what to seconds. So to get it now, if we have our get our hour, it be equal to this amount of 60 seconds multiplied by 60 seconds multiplied by you know after seconds we have 60 minutes and make what are so multiply by our 60 watts minutes then now we get our hour so that be equal to 60 times 60 that is 3 watts that is 3600 3, so we have 3600 so here when you do my question of this we have about uh, 130 times 1000 that gave us 130,000. So this one will give us 130 what thousand. Okay. So the next thing now to convert this one to meter per second, let's multiply our hour with this. This is meter. So let's do the multiplication. When you multiply this one by this, so what we get will I be equal to that is 130,000. Uh, 130,000 multiplied by TV60. 360, oh, it's non-TV. Let me clean this. That is 3,600, right? That is not TV, it's not TV. It's 3,600. So when you do the multiplication, when you use the calculator, you should have a 40, 468,000. This is 468 million. It's 468 million. When you use the calculator, 130,000. 130,000 times 3,600 uh, will give us 468 million. And let's say what do you have the option here. So we don't have the option in this. Or we have what, uh, this and this. Or that is 468 times 10 is power of 6. And here we have 4.6 times 10 is uh, 4.68 times 10 is power of 6. So don't be confused here. The answer is in between this and this place. So we have gotten our answer to this. So how do you explain this one? Maybe this one is the answer. Maybe this one is the answer. Many of the students will make a mistake if they want to choose what the answer here. The question is very simple, but the option here is look alike. So which one is the best answer in this place? To get it now, let's express this. Let's compare with together with this down. Let's say 468 times 10 is power of uh, times 10 is power of 6. So it means that uh, if you indicate this one in the form of standard form now, this one is given in standard for that form. Though in normal standard form, this one should be the point. Now you put the point at the first digits. Okay, if you explain standard form now, to be equal to when the point is at the first digits, that gives us 4.6 what 8. So we have the point here. So you count this after the after you indicate your point here. So how many digits left here? You count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That will be times 10 is power of what of 8. And the option is not there. This one is power of 6. This one is power of 6. So the answer is not this. So the answer is this. This is the answer. Because this one is 10 is power of 4. The divide is at 4, 6, 8 times 10 is power of 6. So it means that what when they take this, uh, the, the digits here, or the number appears here, this is equal to, we have 4, what, 6, 8 times 10. So how many did, how many zero? We have one, two, three. That is six zero. So ten is power six. So it means that the answer is equal to this. So if you say the answer is this, so you can't get what we have here. So if you want to compare it, so if you want to get this, if you want to choose this one, this should be the answer of this question in standard form. 
since we have this so therefore this is the answer to this question so the answer to this question is uh, b guys that comes to the end of this today class so in the next video i'll be looking on that two question and to solve for this uh, post class so guys let's go 